Hey guys, this is Amaziz and it is Tech Time and today we're going to download Eclipse for Java and we're going to go ahead and start with this tutorial to make it very simple. Um, I'm going to go ahead and launch my browser, my favorite browser, um, Chrome and I'm going to go ahead and go to Google on default and just type Eclipse. Eclipse has uh, many other languages other than Java but we're going to go ahead and use it for Java. So click on the link right there and the download button is right there right on the right in the yellow if you don't see it right there you can go back and on Google you will see download right there inside once you click it you can see which version would you like of course I'm not gonna worry about this I'm gonna go ahead and click on that click on the yellow it takes you to the same spot and we you can choose which one so if you have a Mac a Linux Windows it doesn't really matter you can choose whichever you'd like for this one so um, I'm gonna go ahead and download this one Eclipse IDE for Java and DSL developers since I need Java there is many more that like Java developers and uh, there is C, C++, there is mobile developers, there's many of them but we're gonna go ahead and download this one so I have a 64-bit and to know which computer, which uh, version do you have which is 32 or 64 you can click on start right click on your computer and on properties and on there you will see this window something similar to this just go look for your windows and system type it says 64 for mine is 64 most computers are 64 so you will be safe with that some are 32 so just be aware of that go ahead and click on that and we're gonna go ahead and press down windows 64 so you could use BitTorrent which is a good way or you can just click on it click on whichever you'd like uh, one of those so I can go ahead and click BitTorrent and it's right there um, one of the good BitTorrents I use uh, uTorrent and uTorrent is completely legal as long as the content is okay so if you're not if you have a game and you're downloading it you already bought it it's okay but if you haven't then it's a problem so you torrent right here just tap on Google you torrent you can download that and wh when you finish you can click on BitTorrent so here it is it's gonna go ahead and open right here so I'm gonna go ahead and call download Eclipse and press OK it's gonna go ahead and download right here for me and I can see uh, the speed up the speed down and whatnot so we're gonna go uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video until it finishes downloading so now that it finished downloading we're gonna go ahead and open the file to get to the file you don't have to go look where it was downloaded you can just right click on it and open containing folder and it will pull it up for you after that you will see this zip file you right click on it and find the word extract since I have this program zipper I can find extract here if you have Windows 7 or any Windows uh, you will just find the word extract and that will be the, the one you're looking for so I'm gonna go ahead and click it and it will unzip here now I realize I didn't uh, show the uTorrent download and installation but it should be very simple you can just keep pressing next and it will install so here's Eclipse double click it and you should be able to double click on Eclipse.txt and it will run now if you have issues with this and you might you will have issues with something like this called Java development kit you will need to go on Google and type this if you have any issues with uh, running it type Java development kit and the first link you see click on it right there click on the first one to the left it says Java development Java platform JDK click on that and then after you get here accept the license agreement and then go under for Windows 7 uh, Windows X64 and download this now if you are not running into this if this doesn't fix your issue you can go to Google and type Java runtime environment Eclipse and it's called the GRE once you click it it shows you how you can install Eclipse and you will also see this if you're running Windows, you you may already have JRE installed, so you, it may not be the problem 
J Java running uh, environment. It may be Java development kit, and which is mostly the problem. After you download that, it should be about 90 megabyte. You download that, you install it, you will be fine. It, it's an easy installation, just keep pressing next and it will install. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and double click on Eclipse and Eclipse runs. So we're going to go ahead and wait for it to launch and it shouldn't take that long. So first it says select the workplace. I'm going to just go ahead and um, find another place for it because uh, I have an SSD and I want to put it on the HDD. So in the D and I'm going to make a new folder for it called Eclipse. Okay, and then right there, OK it. All right, and it's going to load any files that it needs to load. So after it's done, you can go ahead and press X on the welcome. No need to, to view that. You have this on the right. This is, explains everything that you need. Uh, this is like for Visual Studio Solution Explorer. All your files, your, fo your folders are going to be on here. The outline, I don't need it, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out. This is necessary for me. Uh, I don't know what Java Doc does or declaration, but the problems uh, are something that I need. And um, you can, if you miss something and you, you need something in here, right here, you can see in the navigation or search or project, try to find it this way. So I'm going to go ahead and make a simple Java project. So you click on File, New, Java Project right there. Click on that and you give it a name. So I'm going to go ahead and give it example A. And on here, you can go ahead and press finish. And that is it. You've, you've made a new Java project right here. And uh, if you have any issues with it, you can see in the settings. You see more settings. So see in the source, you can see more settings. You can see more navigation. You can see more refractor and many other things uh, among that. Um, if you have any issues with it, go ahead and uh, comment on my YouTube page or uh, on our website, indiedevelopment.co. Uh, please don't hesitate and please give me any feedback you have and enjoy your day.